Shalom, shalom. Welcome, child of God, to this morning's ministration from the Temple of Resurrection Get Ministry in Stockholm, Sweden headquarters, as anchored by my humble your servant, Apostle Prophet Hai Author Emmanuel. The Lord says that uh, it is a union of two minds that love each other. The union of two minds. The union of two minds. Relationship, marriage is the union of two minds that love each other. I choose to speak about relationship so much today because I found out that a relationship is the major fulcrum of whatever we are doing in the society. Open your Bible as we proceed to Ephesians chapter 5, verse 30 to 33, and I read, When you have it, say, Amen, and may God bless the reading of his words, the Bible, the word of God. There is power in the word of God. You will not be too depressed if you follow the word of God. If you enjoy reading the word of God, you will not find yourself in a very deep depression that you will think of even doing something funny to talk of harming yourselves Ephesians chapter 5 verse 30 to 33 child of God when you have it say amen and may God almighty bless the reading of his words by the power of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ Salah Shalom for we are members of his body for this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife and the two will become one flesh which means the woman also have left hers because they have become one flesh amen this is a profound mystery but i am talking about christ and the church however each one of you also must love his wife as he loves himself and the wife must respect her husband relationship the union of two minds that love each other for each other father almighty we pray that you bless the relationships of your people may you help your people find peace in their relationships may you help your people find love in their relationships may you help your people find rest in their relationships may you help your people find joy in their relationships by the power of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. You know, this child of God called me and he said that uh, sometimes I don't really understand what I am doing with my relationship and why I do certain things that I do. I said, what do you normally do? He said that sometimes he used to hurt his wife or fiancés before he realizes that uh, he has really hurted her i said okay in all you do remember matthew chapter 7 verse 12 so in everything do to others what you would have them do to you for this sums up the law and the prophets that thing which you will want others to do for you do it for them that thing which you will never like or want someone to do to you never try to do it to others you are all over the world you who is having crisis in your relationship or you who is looking for a relationship may god almighty the god of relationship help you and uh, open your eyes 
and send forth his holy spirit in your life to give you the spirit of discernment to be able to found or to find your love may the love of your life look at you you single lady who is under the influence of this telecast you single man who is under the influence of this telecast may your love look at you may your destiny helper look at you may your missing rib look at you right now by the power of the holy spirit may god fill your life with joy and love may you sparkle in the eyes of people may god cast out any bad luck from the enemies evil men and women who are seeking your downfall and who do not want your relationship to last may god destroy may god destroy their plots anywhere they have hidden your picture in a coven and cover your face with potter potter may god redeem and rescue you by the power of the holy spirit in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth be blessed child of god your wife is on the way and your husband is on the way by the power of the holy spirit in the mighty name of jesus the christ amen i see many marriages coming coming uh january i prophesied about many marriages and uh, they, they are happening husbands love your wives just as christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy cleansing her by the washing with water through the walls ephesians chapter 5 verse 25 to 26 husbands love your wives just as christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy you must love your wife you are together beautiful my darling there is no flaw in you songs of songs chapter 4 verse 7 you are beautiful you are beautifully and wonderfully made always believe that do not allow them want to make you believe that you are ugly no woman is ugly no man is ugly every woman you see is beautiful there must be a uniqueness of beauty that is why there is hand of of god in you every man you see is cute there must be a uniqueness of cuteness or handsomeness in every man you see whether short or tolo or big or slim or there is uniqueness that is why there is there is the hand of god in you hallelujah child of god come with me to second peter chapter one and i will read from five to seven for this very reason make every effort to add to your faith goodness and to goodness knowledge and to knowledge self-control and to self-control perseverance and to perseverance godliness and to godliness mutual affection and mutual affection love this is the process you will follow in order to get married in order to remain in a very good relationship to be very specific second peter chapter 1 verse 5 to 7 write it down and read it and follow them as a single lady as a single man and you will see the glories of the lord in your life for this very reason make every effort to add to your faith goodness you cannot just be only faithful without goodness when, because faith without good work is dead so goodness must follow your faith you are a christian you are going to church alone you are a lady all you do is only going to church you see all those wire guys you don't show them kindness you don't show them love you don't smile they call you holy wedge you are the most holy girl in the church and then they try to come close you say no 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 i don't want that rubbish and then you scare them away there is no goodness in that your faith the bible says in second peter chapter 1 verse 5 to 7 
for this very reason make every effort to add to your faith goodness and to your goodness you added knowledge you cannot just be good to everyone otherwise uh, you everyone comes and uh, as you come and visit me now you because you want to be good you go and visit the person and then before you know it you end up in the bed of the person and say and then your name will become Keziah. you become a public toilet now then you have destroyed the goodness so you must add it knowledge and to this knowledge you add self-control self-control as a lady you need to have self-control as a man you need to have set self-control as a man it's not everything that is in skirt that is supposed to move your libido as a woman it's not every man that you see on the road everything that moves your libido you must have self-control you must be able to stand discipline as a, a woman and to this self-control you have to add perseverance and to perseverance you have to add godliness and to godliness you have to add mutual affection at last it boils down to mutual affection and uh, from this mutual affection the next thing that uh, springs up is love i would like to i would like you to go through this verse once more i find it very interesting for this very reason make every effort to add to your faith goodness and go to goodness knowledge and to knowledge self-control and to self-control perseverance and to perseverance godliness and to godliness mutual affection you must have mutual affection for each other in a relationship you man you woman and then this mutual affection love and above all love when you have mutual affection for each other then whatever that hurts each other is like the thing is hurting you when the other is sick it's like you are sick when the other is in pain you are in pain when the other is happy you are happy that is mutual affection that is love and when you have developed to this level in your relationship that is the only time your relationship can last may god almighty help you to always understand and work towards the realization of second peter chapter 1 verse 5 to 7 god almighty thank you for this wonderful opportunity given to your people to deliberate on our relationship relationship the union of two minds that love themselves for themselves thank you wonderful god for blessing us and for giving us the opportunity of this union this matrimonial relationship this mutual affection and this love this godliness may you give your people the power of faith goodness and the knowledge and perseverance and self-control in the mighty name of jesus the lord thank you wonderful people of god child of god you who called and they say you normally hurt your fiance or your wife please desist from that and always remember second peter chapter 1 verse 5 to 7 it will help you ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 10 if either of them first down one can help the other up but pity anyone who first and has no one to help them up the highest person that can help you when you fall in your life is your husband is your wife it is not your children to be very honest the highest person that can help you up when you fall when you are sick when you are heartbroken is your husband or your wife your children can help but they are not the highest person that is why children is just a fruit of the mutual affection and love of the relationship between a man and a woman because god created them from the beginning man and woman and the bible says that because of this a man will leave his father and mother and uh, join with the wife and they will become one flesh therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife and they shall become one flesh genesis chapter 2 verse 24 one flesh 
one flesh everything you are doing your relationship work towards becoming one flesh you're a woman because you have a good job you are working you are getting more salary than your husband your husband talk you don't want to listen in fact you begin to 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 depict authoritarianism you begin to give authority power authority giving instruction and orders because you are paying for the house your husband is not working the husband is the head of the family the bible says the husband is the head of the family and therefore encourage one another and build one another up just as you are doing first thessalonians chapter 5 verse 11 if you are the woman you are like the breadwinner you must encourage your husband you must build each other up that is what the bible says in first thessalonians chapter 5 verse 11 never avenge yourselves but leave it to the wrath of god for it is written vengeance is mine i will repay says the lord everything leave everything for god don't avenge yes he was he treated me this way now i he's sick i'm going to treat him this way no don't avenge leave everything for god for god is the giver of all flee from sexual immorality every other sin a person commits is outside the body but the sexually immoral person sins against his own body first corinthians chapter 6 verse 18 unfaithfulness sh should never be mentioned among couples in relationship because it is a union of two minds that love each other amen a new commandment i give to you that you love one another just as i have loved you you also are to love one another john chapter 13 verse 34 may the lord god bless you children of god all over the world may god give you success in all you do in your relationship in your working place in your businesses in your head may god give you success and grant you your heart desires in the mighty name of jesus the christ thank you wonderful people of god for listening we have been in a very serious prayers we have been in a very serious prayers and then god almighty is still communicating god is speaking god says i should tell you that that difficult situation will be over that worries will be over that troubles those problems will be over for there is nothing that the lord god cannot do only we have to believe and trust him and keep walking in the light of his holy spirit consistency in the word of god will always give us victory may god give you victory child of god by the power of the holy spirit in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth relationship is a union of two minds that love each other for each other May you be blessed, children of God, all over the world. Thank you for participating. We love you. Shalom, 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 shalom.